Have you ever wondered how you can let your players launch your game and connect directly with a server, playing in multiplayer with other players right away? Or perhaps how you can allow your players to create user accounts for your game with username, password, and email? How do games allow you to sign up for a new user account in the game, receive a six-digit verification code in their email, allowing them to verify their account for the game? Have you ever wondered how to save player data in databases so they can see their achievements in the game, showing their progress, skill level, items, or stats from previous matches? Or how leaderboards are made, showing the top scoring players who play the game across the planet? How you can run dedicated servers that players can connect to? How you can set up servers in different regions around the globe, providing access to your game to players in different countries, allowing them to enjoy gameplay with the lowest possible ping times, and how to make competitive multiplayer games fair to all players, with an authoritative server optimized to manage server operations, reduce lag, and provide a consistent and performant experience for everyone, or how you can have a persistent world that all players connect to every time they play the game. This course is a masterclass for dedicated servers and cloud backend for Unreal Engine games. I'll teach you how to package a dedicated server build for your game and how to host that game for players across the globe to connect to and play. We'll first learn how we can host the dedicated server on our own machines, and then we'll learn how to host dedicated servers on virtual machines on the cloud, hosted by GameLift fleets, containers for virtual machines that run your game in the cloud. These can be set up in different regions across the planet so players can enjoy low ping times no matter where they live. We'll create secure user pools, adding a sign-in and sign-up page so new players can create an account for your game with username, password, and email with email verification, all inside your Unreal Engine game. We'll create databases to store persistent data including player stats and achievements, and we'll learn how to save to those databases from within Unreal Engine. We'll also create a leaderboard stored in our own cloud database, and we'll keep the top players for our games and retrieve that info to show in our game project with a leaderboard menu. These are features that you can implement in any game, even single player games. Most games these days have users create an account and store persistent data for them, allowing them to sign into their player account from any device and still be able to retrieve their progress, achievements, and stats. Adding a cloud backend for your game adds a new level of dimensionality to it, opening the doorway to all sorts of possibilities, from friend and party systems to in-game purchases. We'll be learning about and using AWS, Amazon Web Services, a powerful suite of cloud-based services, which is used as the backend for many games, from AAA to indie titles. We'll learn how to host our dedicated servers on GameLift, the AWS cloud-based service for multiplayer games. We'll be using the AWS free tier to create our game's cloud backend. This allows us to connect our players to cloud services such as user pools and databases, and we'll be hosting dedicated servers for our players to connect to and play with each other. Your Unreal game project can be launched, and your players can sign in through your own Unreal Engine created sign-in menu, and they can instantly play in multiplayer game sessions with other players without needing any other service. We are creating our own backend to support our game sessions. Along with Unreal Engine dedicated server setup skills, you'll be learning cloud architecture, what the cloud is and how it works, and how to set up cloud resources to host and manage your game sessions and player data, and scale to large player audiences when your game inevitably blows up and becomes a hit. By the end of this course, you will be an expert in Unreal Engine dedicated servers, and you'll also be a cloud architect, capable of setting up cloud services to do all of the following. Compile Unreal Engine from source, create client and server build targets, and package your dedicated server and client builds of your game. Integrate the GameLift server SDK into your game to connect with GameLift. Learn how to make API calls with the AWS command line interface. Host dedicated servers both on your own machine and on cloud-hosted virtual machines, and you'll know what those are. Create serverless functions in AWS Lambda, to access cloud services and use AWS SDKs. Create secure user pools, where your game's players can create their own login and password with email verification using Amazon Cognito. Implement security, 
requiring temporary access tokens granted via user pool login in order to perform game actions. Create your own REST APIs with endpoints that can be accessed via HTTP request and secure them to require authentication tokens using Amazon API Gateway. Learn about HTTP requests, what those are and how to use them to send data across the internet from Unreal Engine C++ code, triggering serverless functions and accessing cloud resources. You'll learn all about formatting data in JSON format for HTTP requests and Unreal's JSON utilities for conversion from JSON data to structs for ease of use of data retrieved from the cloud. You'll learn how to create NoSQL databases, storing persistent game data for players, including game stats, career, and leaderboard info using the DynamoDB service, a high-speed, highly optimized system for storing data to databases, which is perfect for games. You'll learn how to implement game lobbies managed by dedicated servers, displaying player names and efficiently replicating lobby data with fast array serializers. You'll create a sign up and sign in menu with email verification for new users and a game access portal where we can view career and leaderboard data as well as launch a game lobby. You'll learn AWS best practices when it comes to security, identity and access management, identity center, roles, policies, and permissions. You'll learn how to access the AWS documentation for all AWS APIs and how to easily use them to create code that can access, create, and manipulate data on the cloud. You'll create and manage game sessions and player sessions in Amazon GameLift. You'll create client builds of your game and be able to connect to the server from a client build without any external tools. Just launch the game, sign in in the game, connect in the game. You'll learn how to connect to cloud services without even being connected to a game server. In other words, single player games. You'll learn how to closely monitor your AWS billing and management console and set up billing alarms, and so much more. You'll be creating an AWS account and learning how to manage it using the recommended best practices for the cloud. And all of the core features of this course use the free tier, aside from one optional lecture using advanced security features in AWS, I've created and provided you with an FPS template project as a starting point with shooter mechanics so we can have some game stats to save to the cloud, but it's not required to use this FPS template project. You can use your own game project, or a completely empty game project if you want. This course is about creating and hosting servers and setting up the cloud backend for your games. We'll be downloading and compiling Unreal Engine from source. You must know the basics of Unreal Engine C++. You don't have to be an expert. You do not need any experience or knowledge of cloud architecture. You'll learn all about what that is in the course. It's time to take your games to the next level and learn how shipped games manage their users, their data, and their game servers. Are you ready to upgrade your game development skills? I'll see you in the course.